Of course, the easy way to elevate an already perfect cup of espresso is with rich, creamy milk foam. There is a steam knob that we can set to preheat. While that's working, I'll pour some milk into the frothing pitcher. Any kind of milk will do, but 3% will give you an even richer foam. When the preheat light stops flashing, that means the steam wand is ready for frothing. Now you need to place the tip of the steam wand just under the surface of the milk, about one to two millimeters. And I usually hold the milk froth picture like this so I can feel the temperature of the milk. Let's turn the steam knob to the max and we can start frothing the milk. So after frothing for a while, you can feel the picture slowly getting warmer. And when it feels just a little hot and you can only hold on to it for about three to five seconds, that's how you know the milk is perfectly frothed. After you're done, don't forget to turn the steam knob off and clean the steam wand. Don't worry about the excess steam. It's perfectly normal. The machine releases that automatically from the bottom. Now it's time to pour the milk froth into the espresso. And now you can start practicing latte art at home as well. Let's try it. Not bad, is it?